If you're like I was a couple of months ago and still using chat GPT to make decisions, then you're falling behind because that's what the slow movers are doing. It's time to start pairing the top research tools with the top analysis tools to get insights that people are paying consultants thousands to deliver. Step one is replacing chat GPT with perplexity for your research. Perplexity gives you real time web search with citations in your answers. It doesn't just make things up, but the real magic is how you take this information and use it. So let me show you this in action. In this example, I wanna start spotting AI trends in business. And basically, we're going to follow where VC money is flowing and analyze the information to get our insight. You can see in this prompt here, and by the way, a lot of the prompts I use in my videos, they're generally stored in my mega prompt chest. There's a link in the description below where you can get all of these. There's well over 100 prompts in here now. I think you can just see the massive of, of them I've got in here that help you build Chrome extensions, do research, SEO, all sorts of things. But this one in particular, we're basically analyzing and finding reports in AI deal activity over the last year to get an overview of our information. Now, you might think that's great, we can just use perplexity, but I often find with perplexity, yes, it's great for research, but often when you ask follow-up questions, it then goes and searches the web again. So actually, I want to take this information and be able to analyze it in a more sanitized environment. I do have a little trick that I like to do when I want to extract particularly links that I want to analyze, whether that's for PDFs and reports or just website links. I like to put in here, provide findings in a numbered list with clean URLs on separate lines that I can easily copy and paste. When you ask it to do that, you get this lovely clean list of URLs that we can actually use in our analysis in our next stage, which is heading over to Notebook LM. Now, Notebook LM allows you to import sources as your knowledge base and then work with them directly in there. It's not going to go outside and start searching another knowledge base or the rest of the web. It's going to work with just the information you give it, which is the key here. Now, you can see there's lots of different ways you can import to Notebook LM. We actually want to import website links. So we can actually just click the website link button, paste them all in there, and insert them into our notebook to make them usable. Now, there's lots of different functions in here, including being able to make AI podcasts, different report types, videos. But we're just going to stick with some of the simple stuff to start with. We can see we've got our own 2025 AI index report. And we've actually got some interesting prompts that it gives us at the bottom here to start analyzing all of these sources. What are the most significant trends in investment shifts defining the AI landscape in 2025? And it's going to only use these sources to provide us with our breakdown and analysis. So we can see now the biggest trends might be useful, useful for some of my business, or if you want to do some investing in AI technology, we're looking at AI agents and workflow automation, which is a massive one, something I'm helping business with my AI consultancy, and I also use in my own marketing and SEO business. So in a matter of minutes, you can get insights into any industry or any research you want to do and get the analysis done really quickly. Now let's move on to something a little bit more fun like Reddit research and analysis. If you are got a product idea or you're looking to solve customers' problems, we can actually combine this method to actually search through Reddit and find answers. But we need to tweak our perplexity setup a little bit. Now one of the cool things about perplexity are the settings on the bottom here. You've actually got this little button here that opens up the different sources we want to search. So we can actually turn off web search here and just turn on social. This is actually going to give us access to literally social discussions like Reddit that we want to pull this user-generated insight from. So for this deep search, we're actually going to use a prompt that says, search Reddit threads for SaaS, entrepreneur, and startups where founders are discussing their biggest challenges and frustrations. I want to find what SaaS companies are struggling with. So maybe there's a solution I can offer them with AI consultancy or my SEO services. And we could also go deeper and turn on deep research for perplexity, allowing it to go much deeper in its research phase. That's going to give you much more comprehensive results than maybe the top 10 results that we just looked at. We're actually going to search through potentially hundreds of different Reddit sources and other social media sources. Once it's done, we can obviously read through our report, but we can grab this list of sources again, add them in, and now we can feed Reddit into our research in Notebook LM. So we could say what are the most common complaints for SaaS companies right now, and again, get this information and insight pulled out for us and go deep on it. Now, the other thing that Notebook LM has just upgraded is its reports function. We can actually now create all sorts of different reports from this information. We could actually get it to start writing a blog post based on the biggest problems in SaaS right now. Plus, there's also strategic memos that it's come up with, risk analysis, key concepts, best practices. So if you wanted to write a blog post, you could hit that and it's going to literally start writing a blog post from all your sources. This is really cool. If you were to put, obviously, Reddit threads, we could put YouTube videos in there and get it to write out 
our blog post for us. Now, if you're wanting to do some competitor research, then there's another flow we could actually use. If we go back to our homepage here, we can actually start again. And we want to actually go and get Perplexity to find all of our competitors' features and comparisons, including you know their pricing page, product updates, all that sort of thing. We're going to pretend that we're building a newsletter email marketing platform here. We're actually going to go and get Perplexity to find that research for us so that we can build a cool mind map in Notebook LM. So again, we can go and grab these URLs, get them into Notebook LM quickly and start working with them. This is going to be a more visualized version and we're going to basically be able to create our competitor map in seconds. Now, I just found something cool as well. When you hit the report button, it gives us different suggested formats. So again, we could actually ask it to do a comparative analysis, a feature by, by feature comparison of all the different platforms. So we're actually going to be able to generate a really cool comparison report as well to get a really in-depth overview of the industry. But what I really like is this mind mapping tool, because we can actually get a visual overview of everything in the industry from all the different key features that everything has. We can have the different website components. We can have the pricing for, for their writers. We can have their branding approach. So we can break everything down step by step. Now, this could actually be really useful if you're looking for product comparisons as well to find all the pricing pages from everywhere and all the feature pages. If you're just looking to I don't know, buy a new mobile phone or dishwasher or something, you could use this as well to get a visual representation of everything. And just jumping back over to our previous startup Reddit research, our blog post is actually finished being written and we've got our blog post based on Reddit research. So looping these different places in through perplexity to find information, looping it into Notebook LM is super powerful. I took my YouTube video and added all of the competitor ones to it that I was trying to compete with in YouTube search and started questioning it. So I started questioning and analyzing what do all these top YouTube videos have in common and what am I missing? that means I can bridge the gap to all my competitors. Now, of course, as well, pulling in all these YouTube videos, again, I could go and do an audio overview. So I could actually create a podcast of all this information and go and listen to it without even having to watch every single YouTube video on a subject. Plus, of course, if you're wanting to create content again, go and hit that blog post button and start creating blog content. You can even write email newsletters, all sorts of things from all these expert sources in double quick time. And if you want to find out more about these two tools, Perplexity and Notebook LM, then watch some of my older videos like this one, which goes in depth into the features.